All right, so these arrived today in the mail. Um, I ripped it up, I thought it was something else actually, but uh, it arrived like this, except that it wasn't ripped open, but uh, it's an easy cap. This is exactly how it came packed, I haven't opened this yet, so we're going to have a look at what's inside, but I am pretty sure what's in there, so it just uh, seems to be a zip bag, it's actually... Uh, well, it was only five dollars. It said it was new though, and it's a little bit old, but it came in a zip bag, I think. Uh, this is the USB cable, and this is the easy cap. This is easy cap. Um, it seems like this is a knockoff of EC cap. I'm not sure. There is a little uh, CD as well with drivers. Um, I don't think I can use this, but there should be a program on this that's pretty good. And then there is a um, manual. These are really, really wrinkled, though, to say. Wireless camera receiver. This is my first time holding one. It feels good, actually. This uh, it actually feels quality. I'm gonna say that. I've heard that this can be bad and not work properly. Wow, you do not need a very good uh, computer for this. Actually, it looks like um, it needs to have USB 2.0 and it has to have. Uh, Windows 2000 XP or Vista. Then the 800 megahertz, Pentium 3 or above, 600 megabyte of available drive space, and all some additional 4 gigabyte for capture and editing is what they recommend, I guess. 256 megabyte of RAM. So I can't wait to try this out, and um, I'm actually gonna hook it up to my Super Nintendo or mess as fast as possible, but I'll get back when I've gotten it to work. I've tried it out for a while and it seems like after maybe half an hour, maybe sooner, it starts to lag really, really badly. I am thinking that that is because of overheating, so what we are going to do is open this up. I can't really send it back anyway. It's only five dollars, it's gonna cost me more to send it back. <clears throat> so I'm gonna see if I can um, try this open. Yeah, it seems to actually seems to come apart pretty easily. Yeah that's uh that's not bad at all actually I didn't even break a pin. Wow, that's great. It's actually has to pull this apart. Worked perfectly. A lot easier than I thought it would be. So this is the board. This is uh, the board. Let's see if we can get focus. I'm currently looking through the camera and apparently I can see what version I have here. Actually, it says the exact same time. So, exact same thing as it says in Windows. UTV007. So I pr will probably throw this into a little bit of a better shape there. I like this heatsink. I think that's actually quite a lot, but uh, let's see. <coughs> Alright, so <clears throat> time to see if it still works. So this is my easy cap now after I modeled it and what I did was I took an old uh, USB charger cable that I had that was pretty broken here and especially in the other end. Uh, it was um, yeah it was in bad shape so I hot glued it, put on some shrink wrap. Same here, this is an old GPU GPU fan from a really old MSI card and I wanted to be able to put it back 
so let's do a quick little mod here. I also cut a um, heat sink. Slightly bigger than the hole, so it's really really stuck here. And um, this keeps the processor really really cold. I've done so that the airflow it goes down here and a lot of the air comes comes into these lines here. And um, without the fan, this became pretty hot. But um, still it did a difference than not having a heatsink at all. And uh, with the fan it, it never gets hot. I've had it run 24 hours without getting hot. So uh, that's my little mod to it. I can show it in action here. I'm gonna plug this shitty cable. It's a pretty much a free cable, but I'm gonna plug it into my other other USB port. I got my laptop here slightly out of the picture, but uh, I'm going to connect uh, this to the USB 3 port here. So you can hardly see this, but uh, it is glowing green there now. It's really, really weak. And um, now I'm connecting the fan. As you can see, the cable. I always take it the wrong way. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So, um, as you can see, this cools this pretty well. I need to clean this up a little bit, but um, I think it turned out well. Actually, very well. It hardly sounds anything. And uh, it's very light. It doesn't really introduce a lot of weight. This is also very, very light. I took this from an old monitor that had broken down. They, can't, they sit there uh, where there are things that get hot. Usually voltage regulators. Here is an example of a copper one that I used for some projects. Uh, I really love the copper one. The copper is a lot better than this material. Not really 100% sure what it is, but uh, I think the, the copper one is a lot better. Okay, so sorry about the mess. I'm actually sick and this is my kind of chill clothes. Just Taking it easy. But I still want to finish up this video here. So this is my uh, easy cap <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. uh, not sure if you can see that. Let's see if you can get the full video. Easy cap, yeah. As you can see. Also while having focus. This is the main issue with the, the USB cable that comes along. It's... Uh, it doesn't fit well. Maybe you can hear that even. It's, uh, it doesn't sit well if you take <coughs> this USB cable here. Well, that's just... It won't move. That's uh, a lot steadier. Maybe around there. I hope that you got uh, focus now. <coughs> Not 100% sure. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna hook this up and we can actually use the USB cable. It seems like it, sometimes it can introduce some static noise, sometimes it doesn't. We ignore the USB cable that I actually put there. We have, um, I'm not sure if you can see this. We have a few different uh, cables. We have a S video, we have a right speaker, left speaker is white. And yellow is uh, video. Uh, NES normally don't have um, stereo mode. I've stereo mode this myself. Normally I just have mono. It was okay with uh, this little CD here. A uh, little yellow CD. Not much to say about that. The program that comes along was uh, not that great. If you intend to play, Using this, if the, if you buy this to play, because it's actually pretty playable. 
Uh, not great, but if you don't have a TV as an example, uh, and uh, I've seen people use this for uh, uh, first person uh, when they fly these little drones, this seems to work fine as well. If you do intend to use it for that, then um, I'd recommend the program that actually came along with the CD because it has very little lag, almost no lag at all. However, the recording actually sucked. It was uh, the recording between the program that came along and OBS is like night and day. OBS is so much better. It's just you can't even compare them. And one of the issues that I've had is now I recorded a normal setting and um, when going up higher and higher in the settings in the uh, Honest Tech program, it started to become really, really choppy. It couldn't. It was on the. It, it couldn't record even if it looked great on the screen when you actually played it. Um, it still it still looked uh, like crap on the recording. While OBS didn't have that problem. So I'm opening up the Honest Tech here. And uh, let's record that so you can actually see that. But, uh, uh, so anyway. Let's turn the NES on. Obviously there is no sound now because copyright. And now it's actually connected through the um, USB cable that goes here. <coughs> so you can use the USB cable. It's uh, Some people said that you can't, I'm not sure if that is depending on what version you have. This is uh, the 0, 0. 7 UTV 007 <laughs> I got some foam under the and the yeti there because it picks up uh, picks up some uh, vibrations that I don't like okay that, that's fine this is what's on the the next right now and can see here. The lag is uh, there. Actually, you can't feel it. It's almost. It's almost no. No lag at all. Now it's really hard for me to play like this. I'm playing through the camera. <laughs> actually, playing through the camera. But uh, yeah, that's just a taste. I recorded some more uh, gameplay and I just wanted to show the, that there is almost no delay. And this is the, um, the Honest Tech program. This is the Honest Tech program that comes along with the, the CD from uh, OBS. And uh, different uh, position. Okay, so it, it might look a little bit worse now, but it's actually it is actually better, a lot better even. And um, there's a little bit more lag. <laughs> okay. Okay, there, there is a very tiny lag between the controller and it's happening, but you're not really going to play on uh, the OBS. However, the recording on the OBS uh, becomes a lot better than recording with the Honest Tech. It's just, it's not comparable. So I definitely recommend uh, recording with OBS. So, yeah, it's, um, this actually gets hot, but the fan cools it enough to cool down, so it's usually cool to the touch. And I ran this oh, for two days straight now. I ran it, uh, I tested this for two days, it doesn't get hot anymore, so... And this light here, it's actually glows green, can't really see that right now, but it does... does ouch. It does glow green, now we can probably see it. 
Uh, so that's how you know if it's on or not. So if you've seen more of my videos, you might have seen my uh, Alpage. Uh, when I purchased this, I know it was well taken care of. It's only been used a couple of times. I was pretty happy uh, that it could record um, composite. And what's the component, which is the PS3. So I thought like, oh great, with this I can make a PS3 and Nice and nice videos and stuff like that, and I was like, yeah, it's gonna solve a lot of problems for me, and it actually looks like it's a decent quality thing. However, this is crap. I cannot recommend this. It's utter crap. This, this little uh, easy cap that cost five dollars, does better than this. It cost like, I think it was like hundred and fifty dollars. So um, crap. If you're going to record nice. Buy an easy cap instead. It's probably gonna do better. This lags. It loses. It gets the sound out of sync constantly. I've done one NES video and um, I actually recorded like 21 videos. However, the sound gets out of sync slowly. So in the beginning of the video, it's fine. Then, like five minutes in, it's a little bit out of sync, and then ten minutes in, it's a lot more out of sync, and then it just scales up. So in the end, you got uh, the sound like ten minutes out of sync. It's horrible, and I couldn't solve it. So um, I'm happy to say that the Easy Cap always get the sound in sync, while this sucker can't. I'd recommend though buying an Elgato. There is one called the Game Capture HD and then there is the HD60, but for the HD60 you will have to um, use an adapter to, to convert it. The Elgato Game Capture HD can actually... I'm gonna turn this off here. The Elgato Game Capture HD can actually uh, record mess at once, I think, if you use the red cable as the video cable. I'm definitely not going to throw it away, but I can't recommend the HD PVR. I think the Elgato is the way to go if you're gonna buy one, and it's pretty much the same price. One thing more to note is that it does not perform well on fast games. Sonic, Sonic is um, probably not gonna record well at all, as an example, on the Easy Cap. When, the, when there is a lot of movement, it, it doesn't uh, follow along very well. Slower games look just fine. For the PS3, this actually sucked <laughs> really, really much. There is just no way to record a PlayStation 3 with the easy cap. It, uh, unless you want to make um, Wipeout HD look like Wipeout for PS2 or make Ghostbusters look like a bad copy of the Blair Witch Project. Uh, do not get the uh, easy cap for um, recording PlayStation 3 games.
Okay, so my conclusion is that I will not recommend this if you want to record the gameplay. Actually, it has uses. I believe it can be pretty good to transfer VHS tapes over to the PC or using it for FPV, I, be call it, I believe it's called, where you fly with drones. There is very, very little lag and uh, if you want to just play on your PC, then I guess you can use it for that, but don't be too picky with the graphics quality because it's pretty bad. The sound, however, is great, it's always in sync, and uh, if it wasn't for the lag spikes that come from time to time, which make the games unplayable, and uh, they last for like a minute or so, and then it comes back to normal, if it wasn't for those I'd probably actually recommend this as a cheap alternative, but uh, if you really want to start streaming or recording games in high quality, I'd go with an Elgato or um, the real Easy Cap if you want to save cash. The, I think that the Easy Cap 284 might be good, but I can't speak for that because I've never had one. The videos I've seen have looked pretty promising. But uh, yeah, that's my. Uh, conclusion. I'm actually having fun with it. It's very cheap. It's just five dollars and you do get what you pay for. So I was prepared for that. And also I think that I might have gotten a used item that was returned because of a faulty product or something that might have that might be a factor in this one that someone have returned that and then they have sold it again because I got mine in a Ziploc bag. I know that these are supposed to be packed in plastic uh, so that you have to pretty much cut open. So I've never seen one packed in a Ziploc bag before and that's a little bit of a warning sign for me. However, I'm not gonna pay the shipping back to send this back because it's pretty much more expensive for me to send it back than it is just to keep it. Anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.